Well, 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 everybody, we have a pretty important lesson today. Today, we're going to talk about functions. A function is a block of reusable code. If you ever think that you're going to use some section of code more than once, you might as well stick it within a function. Here's an example. I'll create a function to sing happy birthday. Currently, our program is within the main function. To begin the program, we call the main function. Before the main function, we can create a new function. For the time being, we're going to type void then a unique function name. The function name should be descriptive of what it does. If I'm going to sing happy birthday, let's name this function the happy birthday function. Then add a set of parentheses, then a set of curly braces. You can see that this is almost identical to our main function, except with the main function we have a return type and return zero. What would we like to do when we invoke this function? Let's sing some of the lyrics to happy birthday. Standard output. Happy birthday to you. I'll add a new line. I'll repeat this a couple times. Happy birthday, dear you. Happy birthday to you. To invoke this function, all we have to do is within the main function, type the function name followed by a set of parentheses. This will call or otherwise known as invoke the function. I like to think of the parentheses as a pair of telephones that are talking to each other. To use a function, you have to call the function, call it up on the phone. So when I run this code, we have the lyrics to happy birthday. This function is reusable. I can call this function as many times as I want. I'll call this function two additional times. Just to separate these lyrics, I'm going to add an additional new line character. Okay, we now should have three verses of happy birthday. One two, three. That's because I called the function, well, three times. A function is just a block of reusable code. Now, what a lot of people do is that they'll declare and define their functions after the main function because it's more readable to many people. But there's one issue with this. Happy birthday was not declared in this scope. Our programs are read from the top down. Since we're invoking the happy birthday function before we even know what it is, well, the compiler doesn't recognize it. A solution to this is that before the main function, you can declare functions, but define them later. Let's declare happy birthday before the main function. Then make sure you add a void or a return type. So void happy birthday. We can now use this function even though it's after the main function. A lot of people like to define their functions after the main function. It's another way in which you can write it. Just be sure to at least declare them before the main function. Now check this out. What if we have a variable? Standard string name. Assign this whatever your name is. I'm going to use this name that's declared in the main function and use it within the happy birthday function. Let's replace you with the user's name. Happy birthday to name. I'll add a new line. Then I'll copy this, paste it, and let's change this line as well. All right, now when I run this, here's the issue. Name was not declared in the scope. Think of each function as a house. The main function is your house, Functions outside of the main function would be your neighbors, their house. Functions can't see what's going on inside of other functions. You can't see what's going on inside of your neighbor's house. You're only familiar with what's going on inside of your own house. In order for the happy birthday function to use the main function's name variable, it needs to be made aware of it. To do that, when you invoke a neighboring function, you can pass that variable or some other value as an argument. So within the parentheses when you invoke that function, place your values or variables. I would like to make my happy birthday function aware of this name variable within the main function. When you send some data over to a function, that data is also known as an argument. However, the receiving function needs a matching set of what are called parameters. If this function is going to receive this data, this name, you need a matching parameter. To set up a parameter, you first list the data type. We will receive a standard string, then we can list a parameter name. Let's say name. 
Now this happy birthday function can use this name variable within the main function. If you have a function declaration at the top of your program, you'll have to add that parameter there as well. So happy birthday, standard string, and we can run this. Happy birthday to whatever your name is. Functions aren't aware of what's going on inside of other functions, but you can make them aware of any local variables or values by passing them as an argument, but you'll need a matching set of parameters. The name or otherwise unique identifier of your parameter doesn't necessarily need to have the same name, so to say. You can name it something else. Instead of naming our parameter name, let's say birthday boy or birthday girl. Happy birthday to birthday boy. And that should work the same. So you can rename parameters, but let's revert that back. Now let's pass an age, int age equals make up some age. I would like to send my age over to the happy birthday function. So I will pass that as an additional argument. Separate each argument with a comma. We'll send our name as well as age. Now we need a matching set of parameters. Right now the happy birthday function is only equipped to receive a name. So we list the data type, int age. And if you have a function declaration, change that there as well. Then I'll add one more line. You are age years old. Then this should work. Okay, happy birthday to whatever your name is. You are whatever your age is, years old. So that's a function, everybody. It's a block of reusable code. If you think you're going to perform some code more than once, you can stick it within a function. Whenever you need it, you just simply call it. If you need to make your function aware of any variables, you can send them as arguments to that function, but you'll need a matching set of parameters in the function definition and the declaration. So yeah, those are functions, everybody. Your assignment is to create a unique function and post it in the comments section. And well, yeah, those are functions in C++.